uh, pattern uh, program. We know that we read the pattern state. Then we have this. If button pressed, um, we have uh, pin 13 on, and it else pin 13 off. Okay? That's what we have with the button program in plain English. Yeah? It's on the code, and it's in plain English, it means that. We read the state of the button, then if it's pressed, we turn the LED on, on pin 13, and if it's off, we turn the LED, uh, if it's not pressed, sorry, we turn the LED low, which is we turn it off, okay? So, uh, now, what we're going to do is this. We read the state of the button, if it's pressed, instead of doing that, we're going to do this. We're going to take this and we're going to put it here. So, we're going to say that pin 9 on. Wait a second. Pin 9 off. Wait a second. Yeah? And if it's not pressed, we're going to use that again. But this time, we're going to put pin 8 on and pin 9, uh, pin 8 off. And we wait a second. Okay? So we take this code, we change the pin, and we put it here for when the button is pressed, pin 9. And then we take the code, and we put it here, and we have it blinking 8. Which means, if the button is pressed, is the LED connected to pin 9 that's going to blink, and if the button is not pressed, it's the LED in pin 8 that's going to blink. Yeah? Okay. Yes? If you press the button and it was still had left pin 9 on, how will it know to turn it off? It follows the instructions and then it comes back. So it will do one blink, and then it will come back to check again. So if you press the button at any point during It that doesn't matter, because it finishes that, then it comes back and check again. Check again. Okay? okay? It's in the loop. It finishes the loop, and then come back to check. Because you check here. So once you've checked, you do this, and then you check again. So if, while it's blinking, you're pressing like crazy on the button, it has no effect. It waits to come back here. We, we could do it with interrupt and all that, but we're not going to do that now. Let's try it simple, okay? So, any questions about the approach? Right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the video, the camera around. What? Sorry, uh, the, when they connect to the ground at the end, do the wires actually like, become part of the same circuit? Because then how does, like, if you, if you put a command to pin 2, how does that not get muddled up with the other ones since they're all... I don't understand what you're saying. Together. These are not connected. It goes over. It's not connected to the... Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, like, behind the resistor on the, on the one connected to the switch. Do they not, like, get all confused there? No, 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 no. Because, as I said yesterday, this is a pull-down resistor. And that means the current will always go to the path of least resistance. So what's happening here will go here. It won't go here because there's a resistor. It will only go here when this is on, uh, open. That means when there is any, any current floating here that's picked up because any wire is an antenna, so you're going to pick up electromagnetic... Well, you see where we're going now? But essentially, no, it's not going to happen. Okay? Um, don't try to understand everything in one go because you're going to get yourself into... You're going to draw. It's like a bicycle. You don't learn to use all the gears and go up on a wheelie and jump around and all that the first day. First day, you're just trying to go from point A to B without falling. And later on, you'll understand why the circuit is like this and not the other way around. So, again, any question about the procedure and how to do it? Right, so, uh, uh, 
Uh, we will now. Uh, could you stop the thing? Now we go around.